Hey, it's David. When I bought the 390 Duke, I wanted a bike that was small enough and light enough for me to be able to play with it. And by playing with it, I mean learning how to do some really basic, easy stunts. I got a bit delayed on them by breaking my arm a couple of years ago, but now I'm back onto it. If you've seen the video shorts that I posted, you will see that uh, me and Mackie Bass of uh, Cambridge Pinstriping have been doing a little mini challenge with each other. Now he's much better than I am, but that's not putting me off. If I reckon I'm a bit more dedicated than Mackie, then maybe I'll catch him up. But point of today's video is I'm moving the bike on one stage more and I'm gonna fit the wheelie bar that I've had for a very long time. I think I might have even have bought it before I broke my arm. Now that I've learned to get the front wheel off the ground, first in a tiny, tiny little hops, and now to get it up a bit higher, it's time to move on. One of the things that's holding me back is the fear of flipping the bike. Fitting the wheelie bar will help to take that away. When I look at the videos, and the reason I'm doing the videos is that I can see some of the mistakes I'm making, and I can see how to correct some of those. And I can see I'm nowhere near uh, where I would need a, a wheelie bar, but it's a mental security net. So I'm going to put it on, and it is actually very easy to do. So let's get into it. That is a seriously heavy duty piece of steel. Now, how long do you think it's gonna be before I put some scratches in this? And I don't mean from falling off, I mean actual proper 12 o'clock scratches. Make some guesses in the comments below. Once I've seen what a few of you think, I'll give you my answer. Don't think it's gonna be soon, but who knows? Right, fitting kit is this. So I think you can see that it's not hard to fit. So let's get it on the bike. And that's it, four bolts. So here you've got the fitting kit and it's four bolts and four spacers, so one spacer for each bolt. And that will go spacer, wheelie bar, bolt. Now, I like to use a little bit of lubrication when I put these sort of bolts in. Make sure they torque up properly and also make sure you can undo them afterwards. Wheelie bar goes on this way round, so the sticker will face up. Your indicator is probably going to be in a different place to mine because I've got this cheap towel unit that I really need to replace sometime because it's going rusty. Bagros Performance do a very nice one. I've recommended it to a number of people but as of yet I can't afford it so that's on hold. So this will go here. We need to take the spacers. We need to put them here and then we need to put this on here so this is a two-handed job maybe a three-handed job so uh, I'm just going to get this in place first so I'm not going to try and tighten everything up just yet I'm just going to get it into place there we go just a little bit fiddly and get one in on the other side. So I'm just going to get them all started and 
this one here seems a bit tight. So I'm just going to pull it back out. go This all back here is not necessarily a precision fit. Um, there's going to be some variation in the way the tail frames or the seat frame here is made. Not going to be perfectly lined up and we've got a big thick chunk of steel here. So don't be afraid to move stuff around. You know this will have some sideways movement back and forwards until those bolts actually line up with where they're supposed to be. You'll find just putting these side units on, they're not always that straightforward to do because things just don't fit quite perfectly. So that's why we don't run the bolts all the way in at first and we keep everything nice and loose just takes that little bit of wiggling around to get stuff in place these bolts by the way are bolting in to this subframe here if you take these covers off you can see there's a captive nut welded in or lug whatever you want to call it welded in to this seat frame so this is going to be absolutely rock solid now wind these in equally don't try and do something up completely first, as usual. And now they're started, they run in quite nice and easily. It just took a little bit of fiddling to get everything lined up. There you go, so just how easy it is once it's all gone square. So just snug them up equally as always practice with fitting anything don't try and uh, tighten one part up and then wonder why the rest of it doesn't fit just snug them all down and don't be afraid to give everything a good wiggle around make sure that any tension is taken out of it and once that's done it's 
torque it up so it's tight. You can use Loctite for these, it'll act as a lubricant when they go in and then stop them coming back out. And there we are, job done. That's all it takes to fit the wheelie bar to the bike. It's really well made, it's really heavy duty and it's going to protect the back end of the bike in case the bike flips. Now in theory I will never need to use this 12 o'clock bar but we'll see. I'd like to think that one day I will get there. I don't anticipate it's going to happen anytime in the very near future, partly because we're running into winter. And unlike Mackie, I'm a little more conservative about doing it in the wet and off-road. So uh, we'll see how it goes. But I'm going to keep on going and I'm going to try and keep on top of my practice. And uh, one day maybe there'll be some sparks off the back of that. So thanks very much for watching. Good luck in fitting your own and I'll see you next time.